Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of equations. As you can see, a plus b times a plus b plus c equals to 15. b plus c times a plus b plus c equals to 6. And c plus a times a plus b plus c equals to negative 3. And now we are going to find the value of A, B, and C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this equation, first equation as equation number one, this as equation number two, and finally this as an equation number three. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and add all these three equations. And here I have copied down all these three equations. Let's go ahead and add them up. And we can see that this A plus B plus C is in common. So I can write it A plus B plus C. I can factor this one out. And then times I can write down these three factors. A plus B plus B plus C and then plus C plus A equals to on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and add all these three constants. If we add them, we are going to get 18. And now in this next step, I have combined these like terms. A plus A is going to give us 2A. Likewise, B plus B is 2B and C plus C is 2C. And now we can see that 2 is in common over here. So we can factor out 2. And here in this next step, I have factored out 2 outside. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 on this side and 2 on this side as well. And now we can see that 2 and 2 is gone. And now A plus B plus C times A plus B plus C could be written as A plus B plus C whole square equals to 9. And now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So this square and square root is gone. So we ended up with A plus B plus C turns out to be positive or negative 3 value. Now if we split these positive and negative signs, so we are going to have two values for A plus B plus C. The first one is positive 3 and the other value is going to be A plus B plus C equal to negative Three. So we are going to consider two cases. I'm going to call this case 1 and this is going to be our case 2. And here's our next step. Here we got two cases. In case 1 we got A plus B plus C equal to 3. Let me go ahead and call this as a question number 4. And in this case 2, A plus B plus C equal to negative 3. I'm going to call this equation as number 5. And now let's go ahead and take care of this case 1 first. Now let's go ahead and plug it in this a plus b plus c equals to 3 value in this equation 1. And here I just wrote down equation 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a plus b times our this value is 3 equals to 15. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So therefore, we are going to get this 3 and 3 is gone. So our A plus B value turns out to be 5. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as number 6. And now let's go ahead and plug it in this A plus B equals to 5 value in this equation 4. And here's our equation 4. Let's go ahead and replace this uh, a plus b value by this 5. So we're going to have a 5 
plus c equals to 3. Now let's go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. This is gone. So that means our c value turns out to be simply negative 2. And now we are going to plug it in this a plus b plus c equals to 3 and c equals to negative 2 values in equation 2. And here I have copied down equation 2. I'm going to replace this c by negative 2 and then a plus b plus c by 3. So we got b minus 2 times 3 equal to 6. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3. This is gone. So that means our b minus 2 value turns out to be 2. That means b is going to be our value is going to become positive 4. And finally, let's go ahead and plug it in this b equals to 4 value in this equation 6. And here's our equation 6. Let's go ahead and replace b equals to 4 value. So a plus 4 equals to 5. So that means our a value is going to be simply 1. So thus we figured out our a equals to 1 value, b is 4 and c is negative 2. So thus we got a equals to 1 value, b equals to 4 and c equal to negative 2. This is one set of our solutions. And now let's go ahead and take care of this case 2 now. Now let's go ahead and plug it in this a plus b plus c equal to negative 3 value in this equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and replace that uh, value. So this is going to become a plus b times uh, negative 3 equals to 15. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 3. This is gone. So that means our a plus b value turns out to be negative 5. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as number 7. Now let's go ahead and replace this a plus b equals to negative 5 value in this equation 5. And here's our equation 5. Let's go ahead and replace a plus b by negative 5 and then plus c equal to negative 3. Now let's go ahead and add 5 on both sides. This is gone. So our c value turns out to be simply positive 2. Now let's plug it in this uh, a plus b plus c equal to negative 3 value and c equals to positive 2 value in equation 2. And here's our equation 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So b plus c value is 2 and then times a plus b plus c value is negative 3 equal to 6. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 3. This is gone. So our this uh, b plus 2 value turns out to be negative 2 which means our b value is going to be negative 4. And finally let's replace this b equals to negative 4 value in this equation 7. And here's our equation 7. Let's go ahead and replace b by negative 4. So that's going to become a minus 4 equals to negative 5. Let's go ahead and add 4 on both sides. This is gone. So our a value simply turns out to be negative 1. So thus our a value turns out to be negative 1 b value is negative 4 and c value is positive 2 for our case 2. So our solution for this case turns out to be a equals to negative 1, b equals to negative 4 and c equal to positive 2. And thus here are our two sets of solutions as you can see over here. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.